Hey, Drew. Glad to be back on the show. Blockstream Green offers a few different options when it comes to setting up your 2FA method. So let's go over each to find out which is best at safeguarding your privacy. The first option is to use your cell phone to receive your 2FA method via SMS or phone call. This is pretty convenient, but chances are your phone number is linked to the same phone you have your green wallet on too. This creates a central point of failure and also isn't great for privacy, since it isn't too hard to link a phone number to a real-world identity. The second 2FA option is to use an email address. If you choose this method, you can preserve more of your privacy by using an alias email, or an address that doesn't include your real name. You may also want to use an email service provider that is more privacy-focused and whose servers are encrypted, such as ProtonMail or Tutanota. The final option is to use an Authenticator app, and as a 2FA method, we recommend because it is great for your privacy and doesn't require managing a separate alias email. You've probably used an app like Authy before, which generates one-time codes that typically expire around 30 seconds or so. Using an Authenticator app as your 2FA method will function exactly like this, and you can use any platform that supports TOTP, or time-based one-time passwords. When setting up this method in Blockstream Green, you'll be given a recovery key. Write this down and keep it safe. If you lose your phone, or even just get a new one, you can lose access to your Authenticator app. And without 2FA codes, you won't be able to spend your Bitcoin until the time lock expires. Don't want to wait on the time lock? Just enter your recovery key on a new device to start generating your 2FA codes again. If you have any other questions about 2FA methods or how our 2F2 wallets work, please reach out to us in the Blockstream Help Center at help.blockstream.com. Thank you.